Hi, Vicki Waterbury here from Starter Pro Painters. I'm with Suzette Mitchell from PPG. We're talking about some of PPG products today, and in front of us we have two different types of their trim paints. Tell me what we got. We have a Vanja 100 and Breakthrough. And a Vanja 100 comes in semi gloss and gloss, and Breakthrough comes in a satin and gloss. They're both 100% acrylic, great products, but they perform a little bit different, although they, some of their aspects are the same. Okay. Like, a Vanja 100 can go on trim, cabinets, furniture, interior, exterior doors, and Breakthrough can do the same thing. But Breakthrough is a little bit more versatile. Okay, so when you mean that, what, what do you mean by that? So Breakthrough, you can also put on floors, you can put it on walking surfaces, we always recommend it for like interior, not exterior, like our sure. interior only. You can't put it in a garage because you can't drive on it. It's basically for foot traffic only. Um, it can go on countertops, and it can go on, it can stick to glass. It just has a variety of different substrates it can stick to versus the Advantage 100. But again, they are both wonderful products. Yeah, yeah. Okay, what about the dry time? Dry time. Breakthrough dry is much quicker. So if you have a job that you need quick turnaround time with, we always recommend going with the breakthrough. Uh, the breakthrough actually dries in about 15 minutes, but you also want to give it time to rest. You don't want to go back to it into that time. You want it to dry, and then you can go back into it after that. While the advantage could dry a touch in about an hour, your recoat time on that's a lot longer. Okay, so you can recoat in about an hour on this one. Yes. A little bit longer on this one. A lot longer on this one. So, okay. Yeah. All right. Um, what about, like, uh, we see um, some houses that we go to, the baseboards, or even the trim around the doorway, there's knots coming through or stains from, from old seeping through the previously painted, and we're going to go back over. What would you suggest to do with that? I always recommend that situation that you prime first put all base primer, and then you can go back with these. Because you will have those knots and stuff will bleed through an acrylic paint. If you have heavy stains on a wall, any kind of like smoke damage or nicotine or like a child or someone went through with a marker or something like that and wrote mm -hmm. on that, you always want to go back with an oil based primer because yeah. those stains will bleed back through a water based product. So we want to prevent that from happening, oil based primer, and then you can go back with these products. Great. And then two coats. Two coats. Great. Okay, um, let's see. I think that, that covers a lot on these products. Exactly. Is there anything else you want to share? Uh, there's a lot about these products that are great. I mean, again, they spray beautifully. They brush and roll, either one of them. Um, it just, I mean, just, they're wonderful for your home. They yeah. perform like an oil base, but they're yes. both water based products. Great. All right. If you like what you've seen, subscribe to our channel or visit our website or click the link below. Follow other products and projects we're in the middle of. Love to see you. Thanks.